Before you do this tutorial, you need to install the Node.js system and I recommend that you watch my NPM tutorial on the Node.js package manager system. The starting point for this tutorial is the Webpack website. Clicking the documentation link, the concepts are worth a quick look at and certainly worth returning to as you get used to using Webpack. Click the guides link, click the getting started link. The basic setup involves running these commands. The first command, make directory Webpack demo, creates a directory. On my Windows system, I've made a folder, Webpack Demo, on my drive G. I'm going to copy this command to go into the folder. Opening the Node.js command prompt and going to drive G and pasting in control V the command to go into the folder. Next, we initialize NPM. We initialize the project. Again, I'm going to copy the command and paste it into the command prompt, control and V. The command creates a file called package.json with these parameters in it. Next, we install the Webpack library locally, highlight the command, right click copy, and Control and V to paste. On my system, 745 packages were added from 414 contributors in 55 seconds. Now, in our demo file, we have the package.json file, a nodes module folder, and in that, all the webpack libraries. Next, we need to create a folder and two files. One of the files we need to create is the HTML web page. Notice that there are two script tags, one linking to the JavaScript file and the other linking to a JavaScript library. The other file to create is the JavaScript file. Highlight the content, right click and copy, open a text editor, click a new document, right click and paste. We need to save the text file as index.js in a folder source src and we need to copy and paste the content of the HTML file and save it as index.html in the root of the webpack demo folder. I have already saved the JavaScript file in the source folder and I've updated it to use the import method. Scrolling ahead, the guide makes changes to both files. The green lines are added, the red lines are deleted. Now we only import a module from the library. The module name is not very meaningful, unfortunately, but here we use the join function from the module to join the strings hello and webpack together. The index.html file also has one line deleted and one line edited. We no longer include the whole of the Lodash library into the HTML file. We only import the one module 
into the JavaScript file. To do that, you need an input JavaScript file, which is index.js, and you need an output JavaScript file, which has all the module's code bundled in it. In this case, it's called main.js. Input files will put in the source folder and will create a new folder for the output files called dist, short for distribution files. Index.html is one of the distribution files. It will be uploaded to a web server. The other will be the bundle JavaScript file that we haven't created yet, but it will be called main.js. So I have the input JavaScript file saved in the source folder. I have the updated HTML file saved in the distribution folder. You also need to make changes to the package.json file. See the guide for the details. So I am ready to create the bundle file. I have to enter the command npx webpack into the node.js command prompt. Looking in the distribution folder, the bundle file has been created. If I double click on the HTML file to open it, we get hello webpack. The normal way of using Webpack is with a configuration file. Here is an example. The example project that comes with the Blend for Web library has a configuration file. In the next tutorial, I will use it to make a bundle file that extracts modules from Blend for Web. That's the end of this tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. If you'd like to subscribe, click the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.